Welcome to another Avenue Extras video. I know it has been quite a long time since I made my last video on this second channel of mine. Life was busy. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but um, just never got around to do it. So today, let's go straight into it. How to write the lead characters Qiao Chusheng and Lu Yao's names in the Chinese web drama. My roommate is a detective. So let's start with Lu Yao. Lu. This is also the same character that means road. Yao. This is a very interesting character. It's made up with three parts that look exactly the same. This is the Chinese character, earth, tu. So when you have three earth, like that, it is yao. Yao is often used in names. As you can see, it is made up with three earth. It is used to describe tall mountains, lu yao. For lu yao's name, there is no difference between simplified or traditional Chinese. So whether you're writing it with current mainland style or if you're writing it as someone from Taiwan, it will look exactly the same. The interesting thing about lu yao's name is his sister and brothers probably all have the same type of name makeup, which is one character repeated three times. In Chinese traditional culture, we have five elements instead of four, which would be earth, water, metal, wood, and fire. And this is the earth one. For her sister that shows up in the drama, her name is Lu Miao. Miao is written like this. Three, water, character. Water is pronounced as shui in Chinese. When you have three waters written like that, it is pronounced as miao, and it is used to describe the look of an open water, a wide lake, the kind of state that that water would be in, miao. Although we don't see the names of the other two brothers, we can guess it will be something like this. So it will either be of fire, three fires, or three metals, or three wood. So might as well just look at all those characters. If you have three fire, it will be written like this. Fire on itself is pronounced as huo. But when you have three fire written, it is pronounced as yan. It is also used to describe the type of big fire that is burning. So they're all type of adjectives that describes a lot of a particular element. If you have three wood, can you guess what it is? It will mean forest. Wood on itself is pronounced mu. And when you have three mu together, it is sen meaning forest. The final one would be three metal. Metal on itself is pronounced as jin. And when you have three metal in this form, it is xin. Xin often happens in people's names or the name of a brand or for example a restaurant or a shop. It is used to describe being prosperous. You hardly ever see this character being used in other occasions other than naming things. Lu Yao's father and mother must be very lazy people because <laughs> they just want to make a very easy name for all their children and they just decided to pick the five elements of Chinese traditional culture and then three times it. Now let's move on to Qiao Chusheng. First we're gonna write the simplified version. Qiao Chu 
chu Chu is current. Hubei province's ancient name. It is also a name of one kingdom during the warring state, as you uh, if you know Chinese history, you know it very well. Sheng. Chao is a very common uh, surname, so it doesn't necessarily have any particular meaning when it is a surname. Chu, like I said, is an ancient kingdom's name. It also refers to the current Hubei area. Sheng here means being born, birth. Chu Sheng means being born in the region of Chu. As it is explained in the drama by Chao Chu Sheng himself, that um, his name really does mean that because he comes from Hubei. For his name, the given name doesn't have any difference between the simplified or traditional Chinese, but the surname does. So, what Chao actually looks like historically, in the uh, correct form before it was simplified, is this. So that's the end of this very quick video. I'll show you a page of all their names properly written. Because while I'm shooting this at this angle, I have to sit in a really twisted position, which is not easy for me to write stuff properly. Thank you for watching Avenue Extra. I'll see you in my next video.